Hello everyone. Welcome to the introduction and overview of Certified Chatbot Developer. In this video, we'll discuss the purpose of this course along with an overview of who all will benefit from this course. Then we'll discuss the structure of this course along with the exam. So before moving further, I'd like to discuss the purpose of this course. In this course, I'm going to explain to you what a chatbot is and how you can build your own custom bot to automate repetitive tasks like customer service and simple queries. The purpose of this course will be to learn what chatbots are and how chatbot applications are created by organizations from around the world. We'll cover some of the creative ways in which chatbots are being deployed by companies for automating routine tasks and how you can do the same for your own small and medium-sized enterprise. So let's start by looking at the structure of the course and understanding whom this course is most beneficial for. This course is going to be most relevant for programmers who want to build new and exciting applications for the websites and other products. It would be beneficial to have a basic understanding of any programming language such as C++, Java, JavaScript or Python to implement the concepts described in this course. The course would be also beneficial for product managers and architects who are looking to modernize the offerings of their businesses by introducing an AI-backed chatbot to their services. This course is also going to be very useful for technology enthusiasts who want to pick up a fun new skill and apply it to their own website or Facebook page. Marketing and operational professionals can also learn useful skills from this course that they can use to automate basic tasks. Talking about the benefits of taking the course, I would say learning about machine learning for a practical application will certainly help you keep up with the latest technology trends in AI and deep learning. By the end of the course, you will be able to design your own chatbots from scratch using the open source Keras and TensorFlow framework. Cultivating this new skill will certainly help boost your value to current and potential employees in a world which is moving further towards automation every day. Students will also become familiar with the plethora of creative ways in which chatbots are being utilized by businesses around the world. Now, in order to receive the certification included with these programs, students are required to pass the online exam, which will have 60 multiple choice questions related to the course. The passing grade is a 60% score on the exam with up to three attempts. New attempts are unlocked 24 hours after an unsuccessful attempt in order to encourage students to revise the course material and discourage random guessing. If you are unable to clear the exam even after three attempts, you can contact us, we will help you out. Finally, coming to the course content. We'll start this course with an introduction to chatbots and the technology that powers chatbots, AI. From there, we'll be looking at some of the most relevant use cases of chatbots in the industries like shopping, community management, gaming, and customer service. From there, we will go to look at the first module, which will focus on what chatbots are and how they are being used by different organizations around the world. Then, we'll be covering the basics of chatbots, AI and the algorithms that power the chatbot behind the scenes. Then we'll be looking at the different components that make up a chatbot, including the front end that user interacts with and the natural language processing layer that handles all of the background processing that powers the bot. We'll cover a high-level view of neural networks and how they can be applied to make decisions in a chatbot. Then before we start to build and deploy our very own companion bot, we'll look at some of the best design practices for building a chatbot, including determining the role and application of the chatbot, 
generating mock conversation for typical situations, determining the user's intents and wants from the conversation, and designing conversational flows. Finally, we'll get into the specifics of natural language processing in Python, including data acquisition, pre-processing and training. We'll cover sentiment analysis, named entity recognition, and parts of speech tagging. Finally, we can use this cleaned data to build a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model, which will be able to transform the given input to the desired response using deep learning in Python. Then we'll create a Flask front-end to interact with this chatbot using a web browser. Finally, we'll be combining all of the NLP used in the previous modules to develop a companion chatbot that will be trained on a publicly available database, the Cornell Movie Dialog Corpus. This is how the certificate will look like. The certificate will be verifiable online on our Global Tech Council website, so anybody can search for you and give you some projects. If they have some tasks, they can reach out to you from our websites. So that's all for this session. In the next session, we'll begin introducing some of the concepts which will be most relevant to building chatbots. For any query, please email us at hello at globaltechcouncil.org. Thank you.